Cory here again, and today I am 22 weeks pregnant. Um, I was going to do this video yesterday, um, but I had a lot of stuff going on, and um, I would have only been, um, you know, 21 weeks, 6 days, and I just got anxious and wanted to make the video, but I um, held off, which is great. So today I am officially 22 weeks, and um, a l not a lot has changed, but some stuff has. Sleeping has been like not an issue but like I said last week I would like fall asleep all the time like I would want to sleep and this week it's not that bad like I'm not tired as much I have a lot of energy I've been keeping up with like cleaning and all that stuff um, the major thing is dreams I've had two dreams in a row last night um, no Wednesday night and um, Thursday night so yeah, last night and the night before that, I had a dream that I was bleeding, like leaking bleeding, and I lost the baby. And I was, I'd wake up and I would pretty much be crying and I would, you know, go upstairs and go to the bathroom. Like, I was that, you know, bad about it. And this morning, you know, I had a dream about it. You know, when I woke up, I had the dream last night, but I woke up from it. And, you know, I was honestly thinking I didn't have the baby. And I'm sitting there you know, wanting to feel him kick. He has not kicked at all today yet, so, um, and it's 11 o'clock, but I'm not gonna, um, you know, worry myself about it. I know he's still in there, and it was just a dream, and, um, you know, it just, it, it's hard for when you're pregnant and you dream like that. It's not a good thing to dream about. It sucks, actually, and I could not imagine experiencing the real thing, so I'm just trying to get through the day and um you know I, w I didn't want to get up until he kicked I mean I was up at like nine o'clock just lying in bed waiting for him to kick but he hasn't yet um so I will definitely wait for him start wiggling around and kicking and then I'll be like oh what a relief it is sleeping um hasn't been a big issue I fell asleep last night at 9 30 and I woke up this morning at nine so I got you know a lot of sleep but I fell asleep because Kyle went off with his friends so I was like, you know what, I'm not going to stay up and wait for you, I don't know what time you're going to be back, so I just fell asleep. Um, and I didn't know what time he got back, because I was sleeping. If he woke me up, I don't remember it. So there's a lot of things I do not remember last night, because I was so tired. Um, but yeah, I've had a lot of energy during the day, like I wake up a few mo mornings ago, I think it was Thursday. Yeah, Thursday, I woke up at 7 o'clock, tried to go back to bed, I couldn't get back to bed. So, I woke up, had breakfast, and I just kind of stayed up till, you know, just did my day. And, you know, I do laundry during the day. I make the bed. I clean up the room. You know, I make sure everything looks good before I start my day. I can't right now because Kyle's sleeping. So, cravings this week, I really haven't been craving much at all that I can think of. My appetite's been up, which is great, even though I've gained over 20 pounds as the doctor scale says, which I'm going to go by the doctor scale just because, um, you know, they're the doctors. My scale at home has been, like, broken and out of whack for years now, so. But we went to the Olive Garden the other night, Thursday, no, Wednesday night we went. And I always get chicken parmesan when I go, or chicken alfredo, but chicken alfredo lately has been very, like, fattening and sits hard in the stomach, and after I eat, like, two bites, I'm full. So I got the chicken parmesan because it's lighter, like, it's way lighter than the creamy, rich sauce of chicken alfredo. So I had two di uh, two big bowls of um, salad. I had two garlic bread sticks, two garlic sticks bread things. <laughs> and I had all my pasta on my plate and both chickens. I cleaned everything I ate. And normally I eat, like, a little bit of the pasta, like, literally two bites, and then, like, one chicken, and maybe a little bit more into the other one. I've never ate my whole plate at Olive Garden, and it wasn't a lunch proportion, it was a dinner one, so, you know, it was really good, though, so my appetite's been up, and, oh, and I got home, and I was still hungry, which, <laughs> so I just had a yogurt, but, so, yeah, appetite, great, cravings, not many, I mean, I went to the Olive Garden, because I was kind of craving Olive Garden, but that wasn't a major, like, I had to have, but I wanted to go, other than today, with him not moving around, he kicks a lot, and I can tell when he's sleeping, so right now he's probably sleeping. But when he's not sleeping, I can feel him, like, all the time. Like, I just did. <gasps> oh, my God, I'm so happy. Oh, I love that feeling. Yay, he finally kicked. Anyways, so I was hoping he would kick in this video. Um, but anyways, he finally kicked me. 
and I guess he like knew I was talking about him kicking me so he kicked me um but yes he kicks me a lot and um the other day I was just touching my belly like the the even the upper part and I don't know if he was like turning around and kicking me with his heel but I could I mean I could feel every single kick and um Kyle's mom was over and I was like come feel this and he stopped and I'm like why am I the only one that can have my hand on my belly and he'll kick and kick and kick but the first person that puts their hand on my belly he'll stop like Kyle he'll kick him like once in a blue moon if I'm like Kyle come here and be very light with your hand he'll kick you but with me I can be like just sitting here and he'll kick and kick and kick. I hope this didn't make you dizzy bouncing all over the place in this video. Um, Kyle woke up so now he's upstairs and I'm down here. So my nail growth and hair growth has been growing. Um, these two nails broke off. If you can see those. Those two broke off um, a few days ago because um, I like bashed them off something. These two are my longest nails compared to those those two are the longest ones and my hair I cut like five four and a half to five inches off um back in like October it's been like five months and it's almost the same length so I think it grows an inch instead of half an inch a month um so I think it's growing a lot faster than um usual because of the prenatals um but yeah that's pretty much it for this um 22 week update not much has really changed like I said it you know, a little bit has, but not much. I'm going to get to the belly shot, and this will be it for this 22-week update. And I will be seeing you guys next Friday for my 23rd-week update. This is my belly from the front with my shirt down. And from the side. The front again. To the side. And this is with the tank top to the front, to the side, and then this is with the shirts up from the front, and to the side. So I don't, I don't have a tape measure. I've lost it, but I don't know if I've gained any. But I don't think I lost any. So yeah. I will see you guys in my 23rd week update next Friday. Love you. Bye.